Maryland leads by four. Tim Randall, Mike Wilson, the third member of our broadcast team, has been here for a long time today. <laughs> Jim Hilton again. Well, I've been here for a long time, but I haven't been alone, Tim. I promise you that because these fans have been into this game from the beginning and from many, many hours before the beginning, actually. They were lining up outside, getting ready. I'm talking one o'clock in the afternoon, four hours before tip-off. They're fired about their faces are painted. They're getting ready. Washington still in the gymnasium. It didn't happen quite that quickly, but now it has certainly filled to capacity. Do public enemy number one for the Maryland Terrapins, and you can certainly see it with the intensity of this crowd. Maryland got to an outstanding start, and Mike, I do this psychologically. These early misses about 11:27 remaining. It was a 15 to two run that gave them the lead. 19 to two runs on the other ones. Let's see. Let's have a restart. In fact, we're going to have other good players. The Marcus Nelson might got three very quick fouls, and that's going to be something Coach Kane will have to do with all the time. They look the numbers and they got exactly the start that they wanted. Five offensive rebounds for seven points there. And Maryland scored 12 points off two turnovers. So 19 of the 21 points. Shire looking to scratch into the scoring column. It's fed by Zubek, the point lead. And he's unable to get it to go. Strawberry, look how quick he was. Whoa! And the Terrapins leading by 11, led by as much as 20 early in this game. And uh, again, put in perspective, G-Man, what this is. He was a guy like J.J. Reddick, who was a closer by definition, and Shelby Williams, two first team All-Americans. So it's a surge, and it takes time over the course of the season for that guy to step up. On a good Comcast Center, Tim Rando, Mike Kaminsky, along with Jim Hilbert, and, and Mike, I think you made a very strong point in the first half that if Duke is going to get back into this game, they have to go through Josh Hill Roberts. Right, you know, you look at it defensively, and, and, and really, Maryland came out and established themselves right away with Duke. Like that behind me. You know, you know the thing is, Jen, you stand on the free throw line and your sight line to the rim, those don't even come into play. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice idea, but you really don't see them. I like G-Man actually.